Postcards from Babylon, The Church in American Exile, by Brian Zond. Forward by Walter Brueggemann. As long ago as the 16th century, Martin Luther boldly voiced a vigorous either-or for Christian faith in terms of a theology of glory and a theology of the cross. By the former, Lutheran referred, by the former Luther referred to an articulation of gospel faith that smacked of triumphalism that was allied with worldly power that specialized in winning, control, being first, and being best. For Luther, that theology was all tied up with the European imperial of his time. By the contrast of by the contrast of a theology of the cross, Luther referred to the risky way of Jesus that is marked by humility, obedience, and vulnerability, standing in sharp contrast to the to and in opposition to the hunger for glory. The way of the cross for Luther is demanding and costly because it contradicts the dominant way of the world. Now in a bold and daring articulation, Brian Zond has sketched a theology of the cross for our time and place in the United States of the 21st century. He does so in a way that deeply resonates with the primal claims of evangelical theology. He sees that the gospel is inherently and inescapably countercultural because the God of the gospel is in particular and passionate solidarity with the left behind. In this daring articulation, Zahn pulls no punches. He sees that so much of the American church has been cozily allied with the high claims of U.S. nationalism that readily tilts toward imperialism. The whole package of dominant triumphalist faith adds up to God and country, with country being the tail that wags the dog of God. Most particularly, this triumphalist alliance has a long history of attachment to military ideology, the winning of wars, and the domination of other nations and their resources and markets. In one of his many poetic renderings, Zond offers a nearly unbearable riff on the aggression of Achilles in the Iliad and completes the thought of Homer as he enumerates at great length the inventory of wars in which triumphant Triumphalist Christianity has been eagerly and characteristically implicated. That long alliance with brutalizing power, of course, has deeply skewed everything in the faith, offering both a caricature of the God of the gospel and a distorted notion of both discipleship and, and of citizenship. Before he finishes, Zahn goes on to see how it is that the Trump administration is a near-perfect embodiment of that ideology of lust greed, and pride, and how so much of the church has sadly colluded with the Trump administration in a pretend embrace of gospel faith. His manuscript pivots on the theme of exile because faithful obedience to the Lord of the cross inevitably makes his followers outsiders to the empire world of glory. It was as punishment, so the text averse, that God's chosen ended in Babylon in exile. It turns out, however, that the scene of displacement was an unexpected opportunity for that ancient chosen people of God to recover vocation and to re-embrace a clear vision of what God meant and means to be the chosen by the Lord of vulnerability. The concrete historical reference to exile in the biblical text becomes, for both biblical tradition And for this author, a metaphor for the characteristic location of the displaced from the force of empire. The more I learn of Zahn's work, the more I have deep respect and appreciation for his truth-telling. This book is a reprimand and an invitation to his fellow evangelicals about how the way has been lost and what it will mean to come home, because it is a gift to come down where we ought to be. Beyond his more immediate circle, however, Zond addresses all of us because all of us in the Christian community in the U.S. are too readily narcotized by the mantras of Caesar, Herod, Constantine, and their continuing heirs. The expose and ending of triumphalism 
in the church is a huge piece of work. Zahn leaves no doubt that it is now our proper work that will require sustained energy and courage. It is, however, the only way to get to Easter liberty, wherein the empire of death is known to be fake. The empire saturates us with the fake news of glory. This book exposes those false promises because the way of empire can never make us safe or happy. This book also invites us to the good news of gospel truth. The signature mark of Zahn's work is his poetic idiom that permits us fresh access to that emancipatory truth. This is indeed a postcard sent from our exilic exilic habitat. It is filled with the news for which we have been waiting. Walter Brueggemann, Columbia Theological Seminary, August 7th, 2018.